Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing this makeup look right here. It's like a deep eggplant smoky eye and I just love this look so much. I just feel so glam in this. I feel like my eyes look really green in between like the green sweater and then this like purpley color which always makes green eyes pop. I do chat quite a bit in this video. I know like the last few videos I've done have been chit chat your with me, but they're just my favorite. I film so many videos like so far apart that like I always have something to fill you in on. I really hope y'all enjoy the video and let's just get started. Started. I don't really know if there's too much of a difference, but my little like green light kind of just died I just primed my lids with my Swanty Super Smooth Concealer and now I'm gonna set it with my AOE Studio Perfect Setting Powder The first shade I'm gonna start out with is just the normal transition shades as usual I don't think I'm gonna say the names because I really don't feel like it <laughs> I didn't upload yesterday Thanksgiving. I was just gonna play it off like because it's Thanksgiving. I wanted to sit my own family, you know, but like no I really I just didn't have any videos done because I've been house sitting for the last week I had my camera with me. I just I never picked it up and did anything. That's the honest truth Now I'm gonna go in with the shade buns. It's that more cool toned purpley undertoned brown I'm gonna go in with soda pop just really lightly and kind of bring that into here a little. I really hope this shows up eggplant like when I build it up and not just like black. So I haven't been like inspired really at all. Like I haven't known what videos to do, what makeup looks to do. I just don't want to do like all makeup. I love makeup but like there's only so much you can do with makeup. My favorite thing to do is just like play with makeup. I just had this palette in front of me. I know I haven't used like a lot of these shades before so I just started swatching like a bunch of the shades and putting them on my hand together and like doing combinations that I probably would have never thought of doing. Swatching shades that I've never used on my eyes before trying to get inspiration. I know in my last video I was talking about doing like a back to basics series. And I, don't, I don't know if I'm like I know, I do like say something that I'm gonna do and then I don't even do it. This is kind of like that because just from playing with these eyeshadows, like I got so many looks in mind. And like, I'm gonna take this lashy kind of purple with a more dense brush. I don't really know what this is gonna do since I have a darker shade above it. A portion of my notes, it has like video ideas, but I opened a new one and I was just like, we're just gonna do the makeup looks that I was inspired to do. And so like I wrote them down and I got four makeup looks out of it and I don't wanna put like four makeup looks out in a row. Like I just don't like that. Like I want variety on my channel. I'll give you one challenge that I'm gonna do. Whisper challenge I've done many times and it's like the funniest challenge ever. I've done it like a jillion of times like without like filming it. We just do it for fun. So I started a Google challenges to do with friends and so then I made a list of challenges. I just got very inspired last night. I go through these periods like I'll be uninspired then I'll be super inspired then I'll go back to being uninspired then I'll go super excited. It's kind of cool because you never know like what's going to spark like inspiration. For the lid shade, the base I've thought of black, blue, but I think I'm just going to go with white. I really want the purple to like, show up. I don't want it to look black, so that's why I'm doing white because I feel like it will just bring out the brighter color in it. Making sure this is like really tapped out. And this is just a white base. I'm going with soda pop and just fit it on there. It feels kind of drier. A lot of the mattes in this palette feel drier. Not gonna bring it up any farther than that because we're gonna have to blend this. I mean, I can kind of tell it's like eggplant. I'm going with the E128. I ordered a bunch of Christmas presents yesterday from Shop Miss A and Elf. This is blending a lot better because it's so dense. Since it was Shop Miss A, like, you know everything is a dollar. I got a bunch of little things, like, of things that are my favorites. Put them all together and I got canvas bags that I'm gonna like put everything in. I'm just so excited. Christmas is about giving. I just want to spoil all my friends basically. I'm gonna go do my face off camera just because I love doing that. This is literally the first time in like four months. I'm not gonna be using my Wet Wild Dewy Primer. I'm gonna be using my Master Prime Blur and Smooth. Haven't used this in so long. I used to love this primer. AOA Studio Perfect BB Cream. Heart shape tape not because I like it but I'm just trying to use it up. AOA Perfect Setting Powder. Elf Cool bronzer as always. I also kind of chiseled like inside my cheek with the NYX HD blush and taupe. My skin, I thought that was going to look really bad and I was going to regret it but it still looks so good. Like look, there's still a glow. My skin looks so smooth and flawless. I just want to do my lower lash line so this can like look like a look. I'm going to take my e.l.f. detail crease brush with the Dusty Mob shade and go in with that. And I'm going to go in with Soda Pop lightly on this brush and then we'll go in more detail. I'm gonna go in with like a super tiny brush. This is the AOA Studio E134. Try to connect it. I don't want this to be an all matte look. Take 
this very cool toned shade right here obsessed on the inner corner just like this will really compliment i'm gonna drag it down kind of as well top this off a little with my ace highlight i also haven't used this in so long and this is the wet mod mega glow highlighting powder in blossom glow she's back so Hopefully, I will start using her again because I love this thing. Aerie Studio E139. Really make sure not to get it in the brow. For blush, Clean Color Mist Chick Universally Flattering Blush in Mauve. This is like super pigmented. Take it on my finger, swatch it on the back of my hand like that. Pick it off, off the back of my hand, but kind of like going everywhere. And then... Oh, I feel like it's just so much pinker than I remember. Like, I thought that it was more subtle, but it's very pink. I'm going to take this ColourPop liner in No Shame, and it's literally, like, the same color as this eye look. Now I'm going to go put mascara on and lashes. This is how the eyes look. I did Alexis lashes. Put that No Shame liner in my tight line and water line. Since you can't really see the lashes, I didn't really stress about them too much. For the e.l.f. like 50% off sale yesterday, I was like, okay, I mean, I used to love these e.l.f. matte lip colors. I got praline because it was actually in stock and I've always wanted that one. I went through a phase where I was like, oh my goodness, natural is so pretty, but then I was like, this like washes me out. And then when I tried it on yesterday, I like loved natural and it like looks like my lip color, but better. When I'm not wearing makeup, I really like this, but I don't really like this with this. I'm going to take a little bit of lip liner. Just give it some dimension. LA Colors Chocolate Lip Liner. You don't have to layer all these. I feel like this one would be like the last one I would do. I just don't feel like taking it off. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Cat Suit in Rebel Rose. If I put Moon Child on top of this, I would love it. So now I have to go get that. I just love this look so much. So yeah, that was this makeup look. I really love how this turned out. Like, oh my goodness. I wasn't expecting to like it this much. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it if you subscribed down below. And please give this video a big thumbs up. It means so much much to me let me know down below if you're excited for my challenges with friends and if you're one of my friends then leave a comment down below and like tell me like if you want to be in some challenges then you know i got you unless i don't like you then thank you so much for watching bye